Welcome back. If you love to share your every move on social media with family and friends, you might want to think again. Our KSAT community partner, Randolph Brooks Federal Credit Union, says scams are on the rise during the pandemic. And guess what? They're using social media. Arlisia Bonetta, she's live from RBFCU and has more on the best way to spot scammers before it's too late. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning. Well, a lot of people are eager to make a quick buck, but they buck, but they might be worried that it's too good to be true. And financial experts say that it's probably the case. If you've received a call or a text message like this one, where a bank or a source is promising you free money with just a click of a link, be careful. This one reads, congratulations. Five of you have received a thousand dollar gift card from Walmart. That one I received on my personal cell phone. And let me tell you, I never signed up for it. So financial experts say, be careful. It's a spoof. During the pandemic, RFB, RBFCU says they've seen more and more people have fallen for scams because of information they post on social media and because they've received a text message or call from a phone number similar to that of their financial institution. And you have it in your cell phone. It'll come up and it'll say RBFCU or it'll say whatever financial institution that you use because you have that number programmed in your phone. So it looks very legitimate. And the person on the other end knows what they're doing. And they they will use fear and they'll use, um, like I said, you know, the, the ability to, to make quick financial gains to their advantage. But RBFCU's VP of Fraud Management warns that, yes, you may be a victim, but you also may be complicit in the fraud and face serious consequences by participating in these types of scams could um, lead to law enforcement as well. We've had we've had some big cases where we've had law enforcement involved where they're, you know, uh, making deposits through the ATM that they knew were uh, illegitimate, things like that. So here's how to avoid becoming a victim of fraud. RBFCU advises not to overshare on social media. This includes where you live, whether it's through your about me section on your profile, a post or even pictures. Also, maybe think about keeping your birthday off of your profile. Don't broadcast sensitive information. An example of that is if you post a picture of your passport, driver's license, your car showing a license plate number, the house number of your home, and and with just some little information spotted in a profile picture, scammers can figure out personal information. Another strategy and probably the most simple is keep your account private. So you can go into your settings on your Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, and make sure that it's private. That way, just your followers, your friends and family can see what you're posting and uh, trust your gut. Again, if you think it's too good to be true, it's probably just a scam. And if you didn't initiate contact, then you don't want to be sharing any of your personal information. So here's a number that you want to write down. Um, be sure to report it first to your financial institution, but also to the Federal Trade Commission. That number is 1-877-FTC-HELP if you think your ID has been compromised. Reporting live, Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, Alicia. Again, that number is 1-877-FTC-HELP. All good information.